everybody i'm gonna present you today how to make uh, an inverter from uh, a lithium ion battery 18650 so from 3.7 volts to let's say 20 volts we're gonna try to make it higher for this project we're gonna need a piece of ferrite road like this a very small one comparing to my finger all right a wire this is similar to the wire finding the whoop, whoop. yeah uh, internet cable kind of the same size but this one is coated and for the secondary we're gonna need uh, this thinner wire which I'm gonna put in the description below what gauge is this all right so we're gonna start first by putting a distinctive tape on the first wire of the primary and we're gonna start making 20 turns from here one two three four five six seven eight nine then now we're gonna shrink them a little bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so we got 20 turns and i'm gonna pause the video now because i'm gonna cut the wire and scotch tape it here you go folks this is the primary of our transformer finished now we're gonna put some scotch tape on it and we're gonna start to wind the secondary here you go friends the primary is done this is the first the start of the primary and this is the end of the primary now we're gonna take the thinner wire is this one and we're gonna wind in the same direction as the first one we're gonna put some distinctive tape on the, the start of the secondary doesn't matter which scotch do you have that's the best so there's no trick here and we're gonna start winding in the same direction and we're gonna count all right folks so as I told you early, we did put a distinctive stuff right here. And we're gonna start counting 117 turns. All right. I did manage to put now 10, but it's gonna be 120 turns let's say all right i'm gonna pause the video and i'm gonna be back when the 120 turns will be ready all right folks we are back we did manage to wind 120 turns on this small ferrite rod which previously we did manage to uh, wind 20 turns so we're gonna have a ratio 20 to 120 you do the math is gonna be there so one to six ratio kind of all right now we're gonna put some more scotch we're gonna strip the isolation and we're gonna power to our circuit to see what voltage is gonna give us all right so stay tuned here it is folks this is the finished product with this one we're gonna make a portable small inverter 12 volts that we're gonna serve us in an emergency situation camping and some other stuff we're gonna proceed now by sand papering the the wires and i'm gonna be back with the finishing products which we're gonna test for continuity we're back folks now we're gonna test for continuity we're gonna set the multimeter here in this range it has a speaker kind of draw and some lines 
and we're gonna check the primary which is this thicker wire can you hear it it got continuity so it's all right and now these thin wires come on yep so the transformer is good from this point of view now we're gonna connect the circuit that you can find also in my previous video we're gonna try that one and if that one is not gonna work we're gonna try a different one all right all right friends so we did manage to assemble this uh, small inverter 3.7 volts to 12 volts portable mini inversor casero <laughs> Every time I speak Spanish, it's funny. So, we're gonna look at it like this. This is the primary, and this is the secondary side. I managed to label this stuff. So, this is the start of the secondary, and this is the start of the primary. Which, by the way, is the other way around because I soldered the wire wrong. And now, if you're gonna stay till the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the diagram, but also you can check it in my other videos. It's very simple. We can use for this one the old trusty 2N3055. It's a NPN transistor and a bridge rectifier. If you don't know what a bridge rectifier is, check out my other video, how to make it or Google it and gonna find it very easy all right so let's proceed we do have the transistor this is base emitter and collector all right so uh, i said this is the primary side okay so this one is gonna go to the positive of uh, the battery which in this case is gonna be this lithium ion cell. All right, so this one is gonna go to the battery. Let's connect an alligator clip like this one. And we're gonna put it aside. We're gonna connect it later to the cell. All right. The, um, Second wire of the primary is gonna go to the collector. We have a wire here. We're gonna attach it to the collector. Uh, oh, maybe this is this one. Looks like it's already attached. Uh, bear with me, folks. It's gonna be a while. All right. So the start of the secondary is gonna go to the base of the transistor which by the way between emitter and base is a diode facing this way all right so this one the distinctive one is gonna be connected to the base okay the other one is gonna go to it's gonna be our output so we're gonna put an alligator clip like so and the other connection of the collector is gonna be the output as well okay now both of the outputs they're gonna connect to the uh, bridge rectifier so one alligator and the green alligator all right so we are set now Come on, inversor casero primordial. Okay, so this one is gonna be the output, and this one, and we need another alligator clip from the emitter to the negative terminal. Okay, okay, I'm gonna bring in another one. All right, we have connected all the wires. Now we're gonna put the multimeter. And now let's test it, folks. We connected all, we're gonna put this one to minus. 
and here we go folks 17.85 volts with no load yeah all right so now let's connect the 12 volt led to see if it's gonna light or not thank you cheers bye bye whoop, 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 whoop.